Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you record a slideshow in PowerPoint, you must have a computer with a sound card, speakers, and a microphone. To optionally record video too, you must have a camera. These tools let you record your presentation slide by slide as you deliver it. When recording the slideshow, PowerPoint records its narration, slide advancement timings, annotations, and any optional video you record. PowerPoint saves this data on a per-slide basis so you can easily reorganize the slides after recording without losing recorded content. This also lets you re-record only a selected slide if you need to correct a mistake during recording. However, PowerPoint doesn't record audio or video during slide transitions, so do not speak between slide transitions or it will be lost. You should also give yourself a small buffer before and after a slide transition to ensure all your narration is recorded. After you finish, you can play the recording in slideshow view or save the presentation as a video file. This helps you deliver a presentation to others if you cannot deliver it in person. To record a slideshow in PowerPoint, click the Record Slideshow drop-down button in the Setup button group on the Slideshow tab of the ribbon. Alternatively, if you have the Recording tab in the ribbon enabled in your version of PowerPoint, you can click the same drop-down button, which also appears in the Record button group there. To start recording from the first slide in the presentation, then select the Record from Beginning command. Alternatively, to start recording from the currently active slide, choose the Record from Current Slide command. At that point, the presentation then opens in the recording window, which is very similar to the presenter view. The selected slide appears in the center of the window. To record, pause, or stop recording, click the desired button in the upper left corner of the recording window. Optionally, to disable audio, video, or the video preview, click the desired button in the lower right corner of the window. To change your camera or microphone if needed, click the Settings button in the upper right corner of the window, roll over the desired category, and then select your choice from the side menu that appears. To show speaker's notes, click the Notes button at the top of the window. To start recording, Click the Record button, which looks like a red circle. A three-second countdown then starts, after which you can start delivering your presentation. If you need to make annotations, click the desired tool at the bottom of the recording window, select a color to the left, and then draw the annotation. Annotations are also recorded with the slide. To pause the recording if needed, click the pause button in the upper left corner of the recording window after the recording starts. To stop the recording when finished, click the stop button in the upper left corner of the recording window. To clear all recording from a slide when you are not recording, navigate to the slide in the recording window. Then click the Clear drop-down button towards the upper right corner of the window. Then select the Clear Recordings on Current Slide command from the drop-down menu that appears. You can then re-record the content for the slide. Alternatively, to delete all recordings from all slides, select the Clear Recordings on All Slides command from the drop-down menu instead. To play the recording from the current slide if desired, click the Replay button in the upper left corner of the recording window. To return to normal view after you finish recording, press the Escape key on your keyboard or click the X button in the upper right corner of the recording window. To play the recorded slideshow in Slideshow View, just click the From Beginning or from current slide button in the Start Slideshow button group on the Slideshow tab of the ribbon when in normal view as usual. 
To clear either recorded slide timings or narrations, meaning audio, video, and annotations, from one or all slides in PowerPoint when using Normal View, first select the desired slide if needed. Then click the Record Slideshow drop-down button on either the Slideshow or Recording tab of the ribbon. Then roll over the Clear command in the drop-down menu. Then select the desired type of element to clear and from which slides to clear it from the four choices shown in the side menu that appears. After you record a slideshow in PowerPoint, you may want to manually deliver it again without the recorded narrations or slide timings. You can toggle those settings off to accomplish this. To disable recorded timings and or narrations for a slideshow, click the Slideshow tab in the ribbon. To disable slide timings, uncheck the Use Timings checkbox in the Setup button group. To disable narrations, uncheck the Play Narrations checkbox in the Setup button group. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.